I think I said it one time, I, I have this ability, I can see three steps in front of what happens, and I got these images, now you will think who the f the, the, does he think he is. But I, I see images on the pitch where I see solutions, but not in the first step. In the, if I give it here, I know what will happen there. And, and that's the way it is. And if you see my game, it happened. With your feet in the air and your head on the ground. Try this trick and spin it, yeah. Your head will collapse, but there's no... I have no idea what kind of enemy like that. That van's gonna rear in that taxi. What? The driver's distracted. He's texting. He's going 30 miles an hour. He's 60 feet to stop. He doesn't have room. What the? Where is my mind? I see everything, Carl. I'm 50 moves ahead of you and everybody else. Some players, and this is the difference sometimes, that some players, uh, they, don't wa they don't watch you, but they are seeing you. We don't have... Um... In the Premier League, uh, uh, Real Madrid. No replicas of, of Modric. Modric can be passed. No replicas of, uh, of Tony Kroos. I mean, they're another two, aren't they? Kroos and Modric. They're almost telepathic the way they operate in central midfield. And the way they move the ball makes it difficult for the opponents. So physical condition for himself don't exist from my point of view. So. The mind is control everything, the, what do you have to do on the pitch when you have the ball, when you don't have the ball. Uh, he has that sense of uh, intelligence. I think he's in me, I think when... I think that I grew up with this advantage of winning, of winning, of this look at him being attentive. And then it goes in, that's it, we're all calm here trying to see the ball. You can see in the training, in the in the games, uh, you know the the, tel the what do you say the telepathy? Yeah, that's the way that some players have. And this is unbelievable telepathy with me. Yes. Yeah. To read football, it's more easy for some players, you know. So it was easy. I think he lives in, in the future, and he understands what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> He's got one of those time tunnel things from Harry Potter. Uh, I'm sure that was on the scouting report. <laughs> exactly. He was first signed. He can see into the future. He's got, he's got a couple of seconds into the future, and he can kind of see what's going to happen. And so he just goes to the right place and puts his foot in the right place. Stunning. That speed and reaction time, that's a God-given ability. You can train that to an extent, but for the most part, you were born with that. In the end, it just never seems to rush, but his thought process is too quick for Gareth Bell. You need to be constantly on your feet, because that's what good players do. They're one step ahead, you need to know that. And you, these things, you don't even train, train them in the training pitch. They just happen. They just, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but they just happen. I think the strength of that team was the way we play football, the way we can play for each other, but putting the ball on the floor, the movement. We have so many players with flair. Take the decision in the right moment. That is the most difficult thing in football. 